there's a film one conceives. There's a film one writes. There's a film one shoots, but the only film that exists is the film that's edited. The rest is, doesn't mean anything. It's a, a citizen without a passport, without a state. Seneca, you will make sure nobody knows of our plans. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, it, it was better than the other town. <laughs> the old man delights in taunting the president. He thinks he can silver tongue his way out of anything. Uh, let the mob worship what they see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So Und dann würde ich hier ins mittlere Augenlid, Frederike, einen Hauch von Rot geben. Ein Hauch von Rot. Ja. Nur eine weiße Fläche, es hat keinen. Seneca when I was studying theater, etc. But that was so... Uh, uh, Seneca was still alive then, I think. Certainly I'd read a couple of his plays in university, but I never did them or anything. My sort of... Uh, way of working with directors, it's kind of up to them what they want. If they want me to uh, give notes on a script or hold forth on a script or talk about what a script is and maybe what it could be, I'm happy to do that and I'm happy not to, too. Um, so with Robert, um, I think uh, I read, I think, every script and gave notes about where I thought it was as opposed to where it could be or should be and where it might head to get there. If anyone has ever regarded Argos with love or affection, had a certain hometown loyalty, well, let him come now for pity's sake to prevent a crime beyond imagination. Let fury know no bounds nor shame just monstrous evil like sparks fanned into hateful flame. Feast on this gory spectacular I have prepared for you. Feast on this explosion of evil until your bellies burst.
Ali Fries. Okay, and the gentleman to the left comes in more, all the way to the gentleman to, to the left. In, 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 in. More, 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 more. Go, 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 go. Yep, more. Good. No, no, don't move. Keep the position, okay? You go down. Lower. Yep, good. Allez, on se met en plus position, please. And pan just a, a hair to the left. And, yep, perfect. Thank you. Stand by and roll sound. 10, 18, take three. Action! Good, Benoit. Yes. Check it. Yeah. Check it moving on. Now we're going to the floor again. Now we're going to the floor again. Now we should close touch up him up. Yeah. We'll do a close-up of him and then we do the wide. That will require John and they will be on the ground. Yeah. Okay, uh, make up in please. We need to touch up uh, Atreus under the mask. Although we may dream of justice, we can't believe in it, except as a kid story our grandmother might have told us. If anyone has ever regarded Argos with love or affection, a certain hometown loyalty, well, let him come now for pity's sake, to prevent a crime beyond imagination. Let fury know no bounds nor shame, just monstrous evil like sparks fan into hateful flame. Feast your eyes on this gory spectacular I have prepared for you. Feast on this explosion of evil until your bellies burst. That's good job, thank you. Including all the readings of the scripts and note-taking and discussion and all that, 
four months, two months of memorization, because it's essentially more or less kind of a 90 page monologue in a way. Um, so two months of memorization plus whatever spare time I have during the shooting, which is almost none. Uh, I shoot um, pretty much in every shot every day. So um, on days off, I meet with, with a young uh, person here who helps me with the text. And otherwise, I study it every day at some point still while shooting. <laughs> Okay, now five hundred dollars <laughs> for falling on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Seems to grow. <laughs> Must be the water. It's <laughs> insane on this side. Yes. What the hell's going on? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's the desert air. Mm hmm. Sagst du über die Augen raus? Sieht ja süß aus. Äh, fra fragend. Und so ein bisschen traurig und ja. glücklich und naiv. Ja, ja. Glück's gut. Gut, also. <laughs> really nice. Geraldine, who are you playing? Oh, Lucia. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Um, An old high class lady that takes a lot of drugs. Okay. 
Stand by. Quiet, please. And one question, please. One question, please. Go again. Benoit. Yeah. I hate to say it, but if we put one more curve here, closer, then we can get the shot. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, uh, one more curve there. It was there and goes straight here. Thank you very much. And road south. Action! Thanks! Mm. And cut, lovely. Benoit, cut, thank you. Benoit, yes. good? Ah, it's a bit shaky on the curve, but. Let's do one more then. Thank you. One. Going again. Action! My brother Thyestes himself will beat the weapon. <laughs> Wolfram, if you don't mind, stay a little bit more with the Estes and don't go so decisively back immediately. All right. Okay, going again. My brother Thyestes himself will be the weapon. <laughs> Let the father tear the flesh from his boy's bodies. Let him drink the blood of his blood, not nah, the bones of his bone, so he may hate himself with the same hot hatred as I have for him. And you will make sure nobody knows of our plans. Cut! Terrific! Check it! Cut! Thank you! We got it! Great! Moving in. And what you were doing just now is, is fantastic because I like the idea that now you all are kind of banding against him a little bit because once we're in the oasis, everybody's kissing his ass, but here it's very clear that this group is turning on him a, a little bit to say the least. So if Geraldine gets up, this is going to be the shot and maybe come forward and sort of, and sort of get, get me to him on the line. I have you guys and you... You can come a little closer. Okay, and then I think what needs to happen is the Estes brings the kids in. Can I have the kids? Kids? Yes, coming in. I really like them being brought through the crowd. No smile. No smile. Of course, Safi. We need to wait for the comments. Say hello, Ali. Say hello. Who are these people? Look at the people. Yeah. Who are these people? Just wait here. Three of you wait. Say hello. Three wait. Action. Holy mackerel! Heavy-handed. I don't get with all this sheep pessimism. Everyone's harping on the sins of the past. Do better than the worst season. There was someone on stage to root for. Stop it! Stop it! Ah, 
track the whole room. The thought of their pain, their hurt, keeps me the wind lambsdale. I like these anachronistic touches. You know, there have been a million period films made about what have you. But I, since I come from the theater, that's not really odd for us. Uh, they don't really do it in movies. Because um, people say, oh, he's wearing a wristwatch or what have you. Uh, and it's, you know, whatever, 3 BC or something. And cut. Very nice. Okay, Hold that. Roll in. They're not real. Are they real? Let's not ask. Fucking sick. Always goes over the top. Who made the world be this way? Where are those who protect the innocent? Whoever's in charge here, for the sake of your honor, the sake of the world you rule. Send down your final cleansing anger. With fire burn away this filth. Do it now. Get us. We all deserve to die. Or forever admit there's nothing there. Nothing but black void. The rest was delusion. The gods have left. Could it be that we of all generations are deserving of the sky's collapse and an earth knocked off its axis? Could it be? Clap, please. <laughs> That's a wrap! End of day, les amis! That's a wrap! We serve up nightmares here, a frisson and cold shiver, not for fragile sensibilities. Of course, there is a lesson to our tale. We're not indulging in ugliness for its own sake. 
So what is required of those allowed to dine at the president's table? What is the condition necessary for all their benefits, the good life, the eating, the drinking, to continue exactly this? They must smile at the slaughter of their loved ones. They must eat the shit they are told to eat and beg for more like love, like relations of child to parent, of dog to master, of a flower to the sun. All is transactional, alas. Whether life is worth living at such a price is a whole other question. Senator, you're like a little boy who's picked on by the teacher at school. He comes home and has to get it out somehow by dipping his sister's pigtails in an inkwell. Well, Balbina, if I had your hair in my hands every day, I would cast off my mistress' drama like an old churl. Seneca, I know for a fact that our president loves you. Um, let me put it this way. He has tremendous regards for you as a thinker and as a wise counselor. Well, no matter. I wouldn't read too much into it. After all, we are not speaking present-day Rome, but rather ancient Greece, correct? <laughs> oh, you are so bad. <laughs> but I do worry about you. <laughs> Shot here 32 years ago. So I'm pretty familiar with the landscape and, and all that. On the creation of earthquakes, mostly describes, in fact, one day, but mostly describes a time in Seneca's life when he was in semi-exile again. So he's at what he refers to as his humble lakeside estate. Uh, and this could easily be somewhere outside of, outside of Rome or, or ma I mean, many Mediterranean places. Well, each scene is different, so each situation is different. Of course, each shot is different, and any shot reveals something uh, depending on the lens and the movement of the shot itself. I just really go shot by shot and scene by scene. It's very difficult to keep track of the overall thing. I try to play the moments of each scene. My job is to try and be present in every shot. <laughs> Remember, we die every day. Death is stalking us everywhere, so it's useless to fear or dread it. Say a knot strangles your throat or you fall off and hit the rocks. Well, however you go, even if it's a ghastly thing, at least you die fast. So. How can you not be embarrassed, having dreaded something your entire life, which, bam, is over in a second? Far better to imagine and embrace doom before it arrives so that it ceases to terrify. And kids, drink up. It's later than you think.
I remember seeing, I forget, I don't know if it was the greatest story ever told or whatever it was, one of those biblical movies, <laughs> and hearing people like Tony Curtis, the American actor with this incredibly thick Bronx or Brooklyn or whatever it was accent saying, hey Barabbas, I was talking to a guy. It just sounds very odd to me. So I, I thought, especially say for the character of Felix, the one who's sent to dispatch uh, Seneca uh, on the part of Nero, that it, it wouldn't be a happy, uh, let's call it translation. No, show weakness, no weakness, self-control, willpower, honor, fucking courage, bravery, wisdom. Fight, fight, accept your death. Confront your situation with bravery. No fucking belly ache about it. Fucking belly ache about it. Fuck. You fucking philosophers, you fucking people, they have a fucking belly ache about it. We don't fucking. Okay. Yeah, because I think, like, because I, I, I'm going to try my best, my, my plan, to come in here with a very different energy. Yeah. Everyone, you know, everyone's been doing their, uh, their, their thing, you know. I think it matches with, I always think that, uh, you know, the life imitates art as well. Mm -hmm. Like, I've come later than the rest mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. art cast. Yeah. They've already bonded. Exactly. And I'm like, so I'm just like, I feel a bit of an outside anyway. I'm like, part of me was thinking, I was curious, do I have a look to see what they're doing? And, and I'm thinking, no, if I come in with a different energy, Felix is supposed to have that different energy. I seek the senator named Seneca. Seneca. I am Seneca. Uh, one last one. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Okay, stand by everyone, please. President Nero has decided that you are to be executed for leading a conspiracy to kill him. And, and he said to me personally, sir, he's giving you a real special gift. That's how he put it. He's going to let you take your own life because of the way I'm supposed to do it. It's awful, sir. I wouldn't wish it on a dog, so if I was you, I'd take his counsel and do it by my own hand, sir. What is your name, officer? Felix, sir. Felix, if I may, there's been a great deal of tumult at court of late, lots of arguing, raised voices, much squabbling. And sometimes these 
disputes get out of hand. So please, I would like you to go back and tell the president I will call upon him at his earliest convenience. And really, I want to straighten this out right away. No. So, so we have a little more there. So I, I think we should maybe stay here a bit. Nineteen fourteen, take three. Action. He's going to give you a real special gift. That's how he put it. He's gonna let you take your own life. Because for the way I am supposed to do it. It is awful, sir. I wouldn't wish it on a dog. So if I was you, I'd take his counsel and do it by my own hand. What is your name, officer? Felix, sir. Uh, Felix, if I may. There, there has been a great deal of tumult at court of late. Lots of arguing, raised voices, much squabbling. And sometimes these disputes get out of hand. So please go back and tell the president no, that I shall call upon him at his earliest convenience, because uh, I want to no, straighten no. this out right away. No. Yes, I will venture out from my home any time he deems appropriate. So now that is settled. Why don't you stay, dine with us, I'll fetch you a jug of wine, and in the spirit of prison... Sir! No! The president said that you are to die, and that is that. Hmm. I always find something fascistic in the notion of person A telling person B how they should vote, what they should believe, what life is. A life coach or this notion we can tell others how to purport to be is, is very dangerous on the face of it. I think it's a struggle for human beings to, to find out how they should be themselves. <laughs> of course it betrays a certain uh, self-regard or arrogance to say this is how one should move through life. I, I'm, I don't know about that. Thank you. 